so there we go. I thought I'd make a good tutorial about this. Um, this is a really useful tutorial because every other kind of tutorial, as, as I said, I've seen um, was for iOS 3.0, not 4.0. And I know a lot of people on the internet who you know, are having a real pain just trying to simply play a video file in their application um, on iOS 4.0. So there we go, this, work, this code actually works perfectly, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But first of all, we actually need to link our code now to our interface. So I'm going to open up our, our viewcontroller.xib, uh, and uh, let's wait for uh, Interface Builder to launch. Okay, so here's Interface Builder. I'm just going to go ahead and add a round rec button, and then add a navigation bar at the top. I'm going to call it video, and then just put in brackets iOS. Um, might just change the color of these brackets. So. All right. Um, okay. Sorry, I won't bother designing this too much. There's not much point. Um, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, and I'm just type in play video. Now I've just put a button here, but you could, for example, put a video still as a picture there, and that would probably look a lot nicer than what I've done here. But the point is, I just want to show you that you can play video on iOS 4.0, and this is how you can do it. Uh, so come into an inspector, uh, click the connections tab, and make sure you got your files owner selected. And you see under received actions, we got a new action called play video. That was the IB action we made. So just link this to your button. And when this menu pops up, click up, click touch up inside. Uh, obviously, because we have one action and save. Um, so we've well, we're done an interface builder. So just quit this. Um, I'm just going to quickly build this just to make sure my code is all correct. Uh, yep, succeeded. So you can see um, Xcode says build succeeded, no errors whatsoever. It works perfectly fine. Uh, so let's go ahead and actually build and run. All right. Uh, so here's our uh, video. Um, so I'm just going to click play video. Okay, well, if you've done all the coding correctly, then you should be able to load video like this app. Woo! We loaded video. Yeah. All right, okay, I'll, I'll just stop that there. But you get the point. Um, you can play video in iOS 4, and it's really easy to do so. Um, so as a, one thing I just know, uh, you can see on the iPhone simulator, there's no volume slider bar. Uh, don't worry, that's perfectly normal. It's just because it's the iPhone simulator. Um, when you actually run this on a real iPhone or iPod Touch, you will get the uh, volume slider down there as well um, because you can actually control the volume on the actual iPhone, but you can't do it on the iPhone simulator. Um, and obviously, as you can see, you know, we're playing video, but we've got all the normal features you would expect to find on the movie player on the iPhone. So we can enlarge the video if we want. Um, we should be able to go into landscape mode as well. Yep, and our video does auto-rotate as well, as you can see, so the user can nicely view your video in landscape. And as you can see, I've exported this video exactly for the iPhone screen size, so it just fits in perfectly um, on the iPhone. It looks great. And I'm just going to click Done and take us back to our interface. So there you have it guys, it's just so simple, you know, all the tutorials I've seen for this kind of thing have been so unbelievably complicated, um, but you know, they don't have to be, it's really simple. Now obviously, yes, there are other ways of doing this, and you know, you do get some more benefits of using the more advanced ways, for example, um, I think I, I saw somewhere you can get QuickTime to automatically make you a video still on the iPhone, but I'm not going to be going to that today, okay? Uh, so there we have it. Now, one nice thing you might want to do, now this is completely optional, um, so you've seen how to put the video in, so you could just quit this tutorial now if you want to, but um, your the video plays in landscape and portrait, so you might want to enable your, uh, um, your own interface to support uh, landscape and portrait as well, um, so that when the user comes out the video in landscape mode, they don't have to be directed back to the portrait mode. If you want to do this, very simple, just come into view controller M and make sure obviously you set the return of the function should auto rotate to interface orientation and just set this to yes, return yes, save, and then just come into your interface file and just set all the uh, UI elements so they support landscape as well. So I'm just going to select my bar. Should already support it. Yes, it does. And then just select my. In fact, let's just get these. Sorry, set my button. Save. So now if we go into landscape, 
there we have it. So our interface supports landscape mode as well. Save and quit. So now if we build and run, um, our application also supports the landscape mode. So the video can also be entered in landscape mode, as you can see. Okay, well. And obviously, when you quit the video, you come back into landscape mode. So that's a nice feature you might want to add. But once again, you don't have to add that if you don't want to. And that's just optional. All right, guys. Well, thank you very much for watching this Exco tutorial. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it helps because I've just, as I said, I've just seen so many people online with this problem of how the hell do you play video on iOS 4. Um, so this is how you can do it. It's really easy. All right. Well, until next time, um, goodbye.